doing a first impressions video. I posted on my Twitter a picture of these two foundations. This one is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And this one is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Nude Liquid to Powder Foundation. And a couple more of you guys wanted me to try this one. So I will be doing a first impressions video on this one as well in maybe a couple weeks or a couple days. I don't know. It says it transforms from liquid to powder for the perfect bare skin finish. So... I've been using like really full coverage foundations lately, which I like the coverage, but then I feel like it just like looks like I have a lot of makeup on, and I don't know, I just haven't been happy with the foundations that I've been using. I can never, like I change my mind a lot about foundations, so I'm just like always on the hunt for the perfect foundation. So I just thought I would try these since they were drugstore foundations, and I've heard a lot about them and seen commercials for them and stuff, and I just wanted to know what all the hype was about. So this foundation was $9.79. It has SPF 18. So, and I got the color Nude Beige, which I think actually matches me pretty well. That's the other thing that all the foundations I've been using have been looking kind of dark, too dark on me. So I needed to get some new ones because the little tan that I got over summer has quickly faded. So... Yeah, I actually think that the match is pretty good. I am going to put it on and let you guys know what I think. So right now I just have eyeshadow and eyeliner and under eye concealer on. And here it is. It's really liquidy inside. I don't know if you could hear. But it's really liquidy. So it says shake well in bold. For best makeup results, pour just a few drops into fingers and apply directly onto skin. So... I don't know, it just seems really liquidy. I'm kind of scared to apply it with my fingers, but let's see how that goes. Maybe I'll do like my fingers on my forehead, foundation brush on this cheek, and the beauty blender on this cheek. Let's see which way is the best way to apply it. Let's see, oh, it's so liquidy. Eep, it's gonna spill. It's very light and sm very smooth. I feel like I'm putting on. Almost like I'm putting like an oil on, but not like as sticky as an oil. So it goes on really easily and really fast. I already have my forehead covered. So I will apply with the makeup brush over here. It's definitely with one layer, pretty light coverage. Like I can still see all like my redness in here. Beauty blender over here. Side note about the Beauty Blender, because I just got it, I feel like I have to use like twice as much product as I normally do when I'm using this, because I feel like it just like absorbs in the Beauty Blender and doesn't get on my skin. Just my personal preference, I haven't been using it for that long. I kind of think it looks the best on the side that I use the Beauty Blender with. So I might just kind of go over with the second layer. So I kind of don't like that I have to like use the second layer. And I'm really looking for a foundation. I have like little bumps on my forehead. Like I don't think they're that noticeable. But I feel like the foundations I've been using lately kind of like pronounce the little bumps on my forehead. Like it makes it look worse than it really is. So I need something that like conceals the redness in my skin but doesn't make my imperfections stick out more. This is definitely a light coverage for me. Like I am like a little uncomfortable with the amount of redness that is still showing through. So I'm gonna go back for a little bit more. So I think with this foundation I would probably normally set it with a powder that has a little bit of coverage or maybe even like a powder foundation just for my personal preference. But today I'm going to just set it with a translucent powder so we can kind of see the full effect of the actual foundation. And I have like oily combination skin. I wouldn't say that I have dry skin. And this is kind of like making me look like I have dry skin, you guys. Like it's like sticking to like my skin and like making it look like I have like dry flaky skins and I really don't so that's not good if you have dry skin that would probably be really bad 
I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and then I will check back in with you guys. Okay, so now I have all my makeup done. I just added some mascara, blush, and lipstick. If the rest of it stays looking like this all day long, then I could put up with that. So I will let you guys know. Hey guys, so I just came home on my lunch break. I actually had to take my break a little early because I have to go run to my house and meet the contractor there. So I've only had this foundation on for like two and a half hours and it doesn't look bad as you can see. I actually feel like you know how I was saying that it was sticking to like the dry spots that's kind of gone away like I don't see the little flakies like I did um, before because probably because my skin is so oily so it's kind of like evened out. I do feel like it shows a little bit of oil through it but not bad. It's also not that hot today. Um, yeah, like I said, like the coverage is still just not enough for me. And I did put on like three layers, like well two and a half layers, so that's kind of a lot. What do you think, Willow? I think the match is good. I think that it looks fine like when I look at myself and I actually think it looks okay. I did like a couple selfies to see how it looks. I think it looks okay. I just don't like that I can like see all my imperfections. They're not blown away, but it's not horrible. It's like decent drugstore foundation. That's how I feel so far. But let's see how it lasts throughout the day. So it is just now a little bit before 8 o'clock and I am getting ready to take off my makeup and get ready for bed. And makeup still is like held up um, the same as it had. Like, so I am ready to rate my experience with this foundation. So for coverage, I'm giving this 6 out of 10 because I did have to put like 3 layers on it and it's still not the full coverage that I would want. I could still see a little bit of redness in my skin tone and a little bit of my imperfection showing through um, texture wise. So I would personally like a more full coverage foundation. Packaging, I would give it a 6 out of 10 as well because I just like pumps or something else. It's a cute packaging so that's why I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 but I don't think it's very convenient and it's really easy to spill and make messy because you have to like pour it out so that's that. Application I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 as well because it's really really liquidy so it can be really messy and it felt really smooth when I was putting it on. It went on really quickly but um, it could be messy and it was really thin and I felt like I had to put on a lot of layers. Lasting power though, I'm going to be giving it an 8 out of 10 because after like the first couple hours of like my oil, natural oil coming through, um, it didn't really change that much. So I was kind of impressed with that. At first I kind of looked like it was sticking to my dry skin but once a little bit of my oil came through it actually looked a little better. And, um, like I said, it's almost 8 o'clock, and I think my skin still looks okay, so 8 out of 10. Oil control, I'm actually giving a 7 out of 10 because a little bit of oil came through, but I don't think when I would walk by a mirror, I would, like, feel the need to touch up or blot. Like, I don't think I look oily. Like, I think I look normal. So that's good because I have a tendency to look very shiny in some foundations, and I actually didn't in this one. So overall, I'm giving this L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid, Liquid Powder Foundation a 6.5 out of 10. And again, this is just my review with my skin and my preferences. I think if you have oily skin, like I said, and you don't need a very full coverage, this would actually be a really good foundation for you. I would recommend it for you if that met your skin needs. Um, I don't think that I would repurchase this. Then again, I don't think I'm going to go return it either because I do think that if I'm just going for like a more natural look, um, this would be a good go-to foundation for that. And I might even wear it on a regular basis because it does match my skin really well and it's good coverage, you know, just for like work and stuff. I don't need like flawless skin at work. So 6.5 out of 10. Um, I will be reviewing the CoverGirl Atlas 3-in-1 foundation soon, so stay tuned for that. 
Comment down below, let me know if you um, have any requests of other products you would like me to do fresh first impressions videos. If you like first impressions videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up so that I know and I can do more of them. And yeah, leave any questions or comments you have down below. This might be one of the last videos you see me filming in this bathroom because I am moving this weekend. So hopefully I can get everything set up really quickly and I can start filming in my new house. So that should be really exciting. And also stay tuned for a house tour because that should be coming up really, really soon. I love you guys. Please check out my Twitter and my Instagram. I love it when I get notifications of new followers. It like totally makes my day. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.